Welcome to the Built to Scale series, Outside Marketing, bringing you quick, actionable episodes to help move your business forward. Here's your host, Craig Severinsen. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode nine of Outside Marketing. I, of course, am Craig Severinsen, and this is the show where we come together to talk about how do you build a thriving business without sacrificing your personal life. And today we're talking about why vacation days are a joke and also the importance of professional branding. And it is a a nice windy day here in Missouri. So I've got a nice spot by the lake, which is awesome. But there's so much wind that I put my hoodie up to protect my microphone so that you don't get the wind sound. Oh man. And, uh, you know, one of the ways that that I prepare to do this show, you know, since it's a daily show, content is always a concern, right? When you do a show so frequently. And one of the ways that I come up with, what am I going to talk about? What, what content am I going to do? It's just basically um, document what I'm working on, right? You know, I think uh, it was, I, I've heard it several places, but it's Gary Vaynerchuk where I first heard it, where he said, document, don't create, right? And so that's the idea behind uh, this show for me is document my own journey and what I'm working on and what my clients are working on and bring them here to you. And yesterday I took the day off. I took the entire day off uh, because my dad, he is a uh, a local property manager here in, in St. Louis. And he and my mom have a house. They, they buy rental homes and they were, they were, they bought a house and they're flipping it. And the labor market is scarce here in St. Louis. So they called me up and they said, Hey, Craig, we've been training you to flip houses since you were 12. <laughs> Come help us. We need some, some help on this house because it's not moving along fast enough. So I took the day and I went and I, uh, I framed some walls. I started hitting drywall. Uh, we did some flooring, you know, we did a whole bunch of stuff together. And I just was, I spent the day with my dad fixing up this house. And I just thought to myself, how awesome is it that I'm able to take the day to go hang out with my dad and work on this house and and not have to worry about, do I have vacation days? Is this this gonna give me, is this gonna be a repercussion somewhere, right? Because I think that that is one of the most frustrating things about working in the corporate world, right? Um, So first off, so that brings up two thoughts for me. So first off, I have a friend whose father passed away recently and he's not much older than me. And his dad was younger than my dad. And uh, to think, man, I can't go hang out with a parent or a friend or a family member or loved one because I don't have vacation days, man, that's the worst, right? Like that's just that. Imagine if that person passes away, how, how awful would you feel? How awful would that be? You know? And that's to me, one of the biggest perks of entrepreneurism is that you don't have vacation days, quote unquote, that you can go help your dad fix a house. You can go help a family member. You can go see a family member with very flex, a lot of flexibility. And uh, you're the one in charge of that, right? And too many of us as entrepreneurs don't take advantage of that perk. Instead, we replace the corporate oppression with our own personal oppression because we're very driven people. And so what happens, we don't end up taking vacations. We don't do the things that we need to do uh, to take advantage of our entrepreneurial freedoms. So I guess that's number one is, is make sure you're taking care. You know, we talk about how do you build a thriving business and have a, a balanced thriving life? Like don't sacrifice your personal life. The trick is not to sacrifice it. The power is in your hands. So don't squander it. Don't waste it, right? Because one day those people that you want to have seen will no longer be there. That is the cycle of life. That is truth. Everyone, all of us are going to die one day. And you could look at that and you could be really pessimistic or you could say, because of that, I'm going to make the choices that make the most of my life. And I'm going to go see people and I'm going to enjoy my life and I'm going to be happy and I'm going to spread joy. I'm going to make a difference in this world. And that's the way I choose to look at it. I hope you do too. The other thing about, let's go back to corporate life and, and, uh, and vacation days. So uh, my last, um, well, I, I, won't, <laughs> I don't want to get, this isn't a very uh, positive story. So I don't want to tell too much about who 
uh, my employer was at the time, uh, because I don't want to speak ill of anybody. And uh, but I was in the corporate world, and um, I had just taken a vacation with my family, and so we had no more vacation days. It just you know you build them up over time, or however the process works. And we'd just gone on vacation, and uh, it was my anniversary, and my wife had just had a baby, and we decided, hey, we're gonna go. Um, out to eat on our anniversary because grandma's in town watching the new baby and then kids we got a built-in babysitter let's go enjoy our anniversary so we head out and uh, in the middle of the uh our, our date my wife starts acting really really strange and i at first i think she's joking uh but then it's very apparent that she is not remembering where, where she's at she's not remembering what's going on she remembers who i am but she's just super confused and it seems to be resetting like every couple seconds and so i rush her to the hospital uh it gets better and better and uh you know she starts resetting every couple minutes so her memory right this is amnesia she's got amnesia is what's going on every couple seconds she's resetting she doesn't remember what's going on and then every couple minutes and then and then it's every like 10 minutes and 20 minutes 30 minutes you know as we're going it's getting better and better and uh the doctors can't diagnose her they say it's global transient amnesia which uh, is just a general term for what's going on. And they're like, it typically ha happens in older people, but it's probably something to do with postpartum, you know, hormones. And so we didn't know what was going on. We had, we had no idea what's going on. And I go to my work that morning and I'm like, I've got to, uh, I've got to not come in. And they're like, okay, uh, that's fine. And I go and I spend the day with, and I, you know, I even work, like I work from home. I do some, you know, I even work, but I don't go into the office and I go in the next day and they call me into the boss's office. They're like, okay, uh, should we, we, we need to talk about docking your pay because you didn't come in and you don't have any more vacation hours. And I was just like, are you kidding me? My wife is in the hospital. Well, she was, she wasn't anymore. She literally can't remember who she is. And you're talking about docking my pay. Is that even remotely the right thing to do? But their, their policies say that that's what they needed to do. Now, to their credit, they fudged whatever numbers they had to fudge. Here comes the wind. Just taking my glasses. <laughs> they flew away. I'll get them afterwards. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> but not remotely the right thing to do. Now, to their credit, they fudged whatever paperwork they had to fudge, and they didn't dock my pay. But how ridiculous is that? And that is the corporate world in a nutshell, right? So now that we're outside of the corporate world, we're entrepreneurs, we're owning our own business. I also feel that it is your responsibility as an entrepreneur that as you start to build team, you do better than the corporate world. You got to do better, right? Treat your team with respect. Treat them like adults because they are adults. And if an adult needs that strict of rules to perform, then they're not the right fit for your team. Ha treat people like adults, hire adults, and give them the freedom to live a wonderful life. And guess what? They will pay back in ROI to your bottom line, that faith in them. Guarantee it. Okay, now let's switch gears and talk about professional branding. So the other thing, I'm looking at my calendar. The other thing is today, I've got a call with my branding uh, consultant, uh, her name is Megan Vaughn. She works for Pro Prolific Banana. Shout out to Megan. She's fantastic. She's been doing my branding for years. And uh, I love working with her. And today we're going to be talking about, well, the book that's coming out. Uh, it's going fantastically, guys. I, if you haven't tuned into the other episodes, um, I was in the middle of writing a book, second version of my manuscript, getting ready to turn it in for third round edits. And I just kept getting the feeling, this is the wrong book, this is the wrong book, this is the wrong book. So I completely started over, reframed it, and it is just pouring out of me. It's fantastic. Definitely the right choice. Very glad that I made it. Um, and now it's opening up other opportunities for me in terms of how do I make my offer more cohesive and how do I open up my offer to people who maybe can't afford me and people who want, you know, you've got that uh, two sides of the dice, right? You've got the people that, that, that I serve that are my ideal clients. 
And then you got people who come, they're not quite ready and maybe they can't afford it. You got people who are a little bit more advanced and need a little bit more handholding. Because of the way I'm structuring the book, it's helped me rethink the structure of my offer so that now I can maybe uh, fine tune my offer to support those people. So we're getting together today to talk about the branding and the collateral that we need to build out for it. And one thing that I've always made that I think is the most valuable tool for marketing and for client success is a visual representation map of how you go from nothing to the results that you're promising your clients. If you have a branded, beautiful, visual representation, a roadmap of how they get results, it makes a huge difference in your business. So I'm really excited to get on the phone with her today and talk about that. All right, now that the wind's dying down, I'm gonna take this chance to wrap it up. And so two big takeaways from today is, you're an entrepreneur, make sure you're taking care of your freedom, that you're taking advantage of it, and you also have the responsibility to give that same opportunity to your employees. And number two, professional branding is a fantastic investment. And in particular, having some sort of visual representation of how you go from nothing to getting clients is a great marketing tool, sales tool, and uh, client success tool. Okay, until next time, take some fast focus and perfect action. I believe in you. I got your back. Look at this gorgeous view, guys. Starting my day out like this, outside, talking to you guys, exercising. It's only been less than two weeks, but it has been a fantastic experience. I'm really loving it. Okay, till next time. We'll talk soon. See ya. Thanks for joining us. To check out all the Built to Scale episodes and to see how Craig can help you in your business, go to builttoscalehq.com.